Okay, we just finished our demo of advanced. We're gonna go into expert because we feel like it. One hundred stages. Someone told me that there are only you can get a max of only ninety nine monkeys like Super Monkey Ball two, which is really not good, not cool because especially in ultimate you have to deal with um, two hundred and ten stages. So that's less than one stage per monkey. That's less than a, uh, two stages per monkey. So yeah, you see these stages get harder immediately after the first one. Even the first one's a little difficult if you really want those bananas or whatever. Get up there, get up there, get up there. Yeah! Keep in mind that you can get the bananas, but if you lose the time bonus, you lose at least... Well, let's see, at least... 40,000 points. No. 50,000. We'll say that. At least 50,000 points. Just keep in mind that for the 30 second stages, you have 15 seconds for the time bonus. And for the 60 second stages, you have 30 seconds for the time bonus. It's usually half the time. Just keep in mind that. And this stage is very difficult. If I can pull it off on a first try, that'd be a new record for me. It's very difficult. I don't want to stay here too long, and if I tend, if I will stay here too long, then I'm going to go straight to ultimate. Because this is a very difficult stage. It's going to cost you plenty of monkeys in the beginning. I suggest you practice this stage, if, especially if you're not good with balance. If you're good with balance, I think you'll be okay. If you're not good with balance though, you need to practice this. Because this is going to be a stage that's going to block the rest of your game. Sure, you may skip it in story mode, but here you can't skip shit. Except by warping. But, uh, damn. I do that sometimes. But you can't warp in 5, uh, 6 or 5, so... Five's what? No, that was five, okay. I mean four or five. Four or four is this excursion, a really difficult stage. It only has a blue goal on it. And five is what you just saw, so... A lot of these stages have at least a green goal in them, if not purple. Like you saw in stage two, it was only uh, blue and purple, which is a little bit different because you usually have a green one also. Usually when you have a green, if you have a purple one, you have a green one. That was not the case in stage 2. And I can't even get past that part, which I really suck on. That last bit with the, with the balancing part and the curvy part, that's crazy. That is crazy. If I can get to 10, that'd be nice. To show you all kinds of bonus stages and all that. But I can't even concentrate myself. That is supposed to be practice for later. And if I can't do this now, I definitely can't do this later. That's gonna be a problem. Well, it only takes a little more practice for me to finish this. We're good. I think my ratio on this stage less, is less than 10%. At this rate, it's definitely gonna be less than 10%. Keep in mind that uh, percentage is based on... Well, technically, it's based, supposed to be based on an average. Like, out of every 100 tries, how many... How many tries do you get the goal, and how many tries don't don't you get the goal? Like if you get the goal half the time, it's 50%. If you get the goal two times out of 100, it's 2%. But it's not out of every hundred; it's out of how many tries you do. That's how it's explained. It's how many. It's based on what. Ah, damn it! No matter what goal you get, it doesn't matter as long as you get the goal. Keep in mind that too, it doesn't matter what goal you get, it's based on um, if you get the goal. And I totally sucked on the last bit.
Whoa, whoa, that was terrible. I get too excited sometimes when I play this game. Especially when I'm gonna be playing with for you guys. That's gonna be awesome. And I thought Super Monkey Ball 2 was hard doing this. <laughs> Think again, my friend. Friends. <laughs> All of you love Super Monkey Ball 2 so much. I figured uh, I figured if I could get this game, well, I'll do it for I'll do it for you guys also. But the reason I couldn't do this as soon as I got it was because first of all, this game is twice as much as Super Monkey Ball 2, so it would take at least twice as long. I figured it didn't, but it took long enough not for me to do it so soon, mainly because of this stage, I should be talking. Damn! Friggin' Only 21 seconds, damn! Oh, damn, I have to get to the first bit faster. I'm not watching the time at all, it's crazy. This stage was a big um, pushback in my plans. So I couldn't get past this stage really often. And the only thing I really did was the purple ball on stage 2, and I still got monkeys for it, which is really cool. Whoa. Okay, I have to concentrate now. I have to stop talking, right now. I'm like, dead serious, I have to stop talking. Whoa. Damn, that's crazy. Keep in mind that I only have 77 monkeys. Well, it's technically 78. Remember the one plus rule from Super Monkey Ball 2 that does apply here? Because there is a zero monkey life. Keep in mind when you have a zero monkey life, it's one your lives are one plus. If not, then your lives are, are as is. In any game really. In Sonic games that this 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 rule that that applies here does not apply over there. When you have one life, that's your last life. No zero lives allowed. And you realize why? Because instead of because after zero lives, there's 255 in early Sonic games. So, which I wonder, how can you get 255 lives? Which I'm just wondering. It's like, why couldn't it be just like something else? Why have to be 255? Oh shit, isn't it? Damn. Ready? 